I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inequalities. Let me thank all of you for taking keen interest in my video on introduction to inequalities, where we had been talking about a very important concept as to what happens when we square in the inequality. Now, this particular question comes from one of our viewers, William. Uh, William, thanks a lot for this excellent question. Let me explain to you how it really works, and I hope that is going to help many others. So actually, I got similar questions from many other students also. The question here is, if x is greater than or equal to minus 4 and less than or equal to 2, then which of the following is true about squaring this inequality? That is to say, uh, there are four choices. Is it that when we square it, x square is greater than or equal to minus 4 square less than 2 square? Let me just square them all. Or is it that x square is between 0 and 4? Or is it x square is between 0 and 16? Or is it just a positive value greater than 0, greater than equal to in all the cases? Okay. Now, I'd like you to pause the video, think about it, and then answer. Uh, let's look into it uh, graphically. It helps to understand. If we really sketch a graph, it makes sense. Then it is very easy to understand the concept and retain. That's the whole idea. So, uh, if we have x and y values, once we say that x is between minus 4 and 2, it means what? It means something like this. Let's say this is minus 4 for us. And somewhere here we have 2, right? So, it means this. So, the value of x it be, is between minus 4 and 2. That's what it means. Now, obviously, uh, x is greater than minus 4 since it is all these values which are on the right side of minus 4. And it is less than 2. Correct? Now, when you square this, when you square this, you could also treat this as a straight line. For example, uh, let me draw a line. So, if I draw a line here, going y equals to x, for example, this is y equals to x. In that case, you can clearly see that a point on this line for minus x corresponds to this place and for 2, is that is the y value. Correct. So, you can see that the value x is between these two points, right? So this is lower limit, which is minus 4, and that is the higher value of 2. Correct. Now the question is, so this is all about y equals to x. Now what happens? When we square, that is the question, right? So obviously, uh, we were talking about uh, y equals to x. Now it becomes y equals to x squared. The function changes. So we are now uh, trying to look for those two results on a different equation altogether. So now we are talking about x squared, so which should be a graph which is could be like this, right? So I'm just sketching one graph here. It's not very accurate, but it gives you an idea, right? So so this is x square for us. See what happens. So as soon as you sketch this x square graph, what really happens is that the value at minus 4 now is not minus 4, but it is somewhere there on the top, right there, right? So, well, the graph doesn't really show it that much, but this value becomes minus 4, and the square of minus 4 is 16. You get an idea, right? Uh, because of the space problem, just sketch like this. Okay, now <clears throat> let me not, not write two here. That creates a problem. Okay, so so at minus four we actually get sixteen when we square, and at two what we really get is some value here, uh, which is uh, let us say which is four, right? So which is, oh, let me write here two and four. You get an idea. So these two values on the boundaries become, uh, so when we square, let's see, so we have x square, and here we had a number 2, 
so it becomes 2 square. Here we had minus 4, it became minus 4 square. So all of a sudden, you see that this value changes to 16 and that value changes to 4. However, in between, you see it is a parabola which still has a minimum value here at 0, which is 0. Perfect. Do you see that part? And therefore, this results into a very different result which is shown here x square is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 16 now x square is always positive so when we square we get always non-zero so that gives you an idea that squaring will make negative things positive correct and the minimum could be zero right so which is right there as you can see here so what you could do is you can translate that into your x square graph and see for yourself that now the value changes from 16 to 0 and then to 2. So the minimum limit is, is 0. You're getting the idea, right? So it becomes a very different result, 0 to 16. So what we are trying to say here is that you just can't square all the terms in the inequalities and solve further it's a very different story as you can see from here now this question is extremely important and uh, we sometimes ask this question as if domain is from minus 4 to 2 find range of the function x squared so that is a related question so the range is from 0 to 16, right? So, so I hope that connects quite a few things. So the whole idea here is to understand the basic concepts on inequalities and then get into details. So I hope now we are ready for that. Thanks a lot once again. I hope all this is helping you a lot. Feel free to share your views and comments. All these questions make my website and the YouTube channel an excellent resource for students. And that's the whole idea. Thank you once again.